royal family's game faces on as they come face to face with Meghan and Harry in public. The royal family will have their game faces on for the public reunion with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry according to an expert. Royal commentator Victoria Arbiter told Canadian TV station CTV that all eyeballs will be on the Commonwealth Service on March 9. Although Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have individual engagements prior to March 9, the Commonwealth Service will be the first time all royal family members will attend an event following the Duke and Duchess of Sussex return to the UK. M's Arbiter said, Harry is already in the UK, he appeared in Edinburgh yesterday. He was there to launch another section of Travelist which is a new travel intuitive based on sustainable travel. We are expecting the Duchess of Sussex to arrive in the UK in the coming days. She and Harry have a number of engagements together, they will be at the Endeavour Funds Awards on March 5th. Meghan has an engagement on behalf of International Women's Day on March 8th. She continued, the couple will appear at the Commonwealth Service on March 9th. It'll be the first time we have seen them with royal family members in attendance as well. So of course all eyeballs are going to be on there. I expect the royal family to have game faces on. It is going to be business as usual. Earlier this month a royal expert told Sky News that Prince Harry has become very isolated following the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's decision to step down as senior figures from the royal family. Robert Jobson, the royal editor of the London Evening Standard, stated that Prince Harry will be feeling similar to how Meghan Markle felt in the UK. The royal expert outlined that the Duke of Sussex's family is on the other side of the world and that Meghan and Harry's situations have completely reversed in the last two months. Mr. Jobson said, Harry is very isolated now and that is the danger. Where she was saying she felt isolated in the UK and that she didn't feel there was any support, her family was on the other side of the world. What's been happening here is now the situation has been completely reversed. How Meghan Markle's online supporters gave the Duchess a voice. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are soon to be former members of the royal family. This is not without cause, of course, the 2018 royal wedding, and lead up to it, threw the vicious British tabloids into a frenzy. Ever since, Meghan, in particular, has been a constant target of media vitriol. However, some fans of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are putting in the effort online to push forth a more positive image of the royal couple. One of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's biggest supporters recently went viral with an adorable Twitter video of the couple. She told the Huffington Post that she's part of the Sussex squad. This community of Meghan defenders fights for the Duchess's honor among the sewage of the internet and by that of course, we mean the comments section, on Twitter, or really, anywhere online. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's biggest supporters in the age of the Internet, the Sussex Squad. When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's biggest fan was interviewed by the Huffington Post, Michelle, as she goes in the article, revealed that she belongs to a community known as the Sussex Squad. HuffPo defined the crew as the ever-growing group of online defenders speaking up on behalf of the Sussexes. One of Michelle's recent tweets about the royal couple went viral a rare positive moment in the media circus around the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. She says that tweeting about Meghan and Harry is a way for me to connect with other individuals who also share similar interests. Michelle and her fellow Sussex squad members have even raised money for charity on Twitter inspired, of course, by Meghan's activism. Meghan's philanthropy is inspirational to Twitter users. Harry and Meghan really inspire us to participate and help support good causes and I think that's really important for people who have such a large platform," Michelle told the Huffington Post. One campaign in particular was a big success for the Sussex squad. Michelle explained that they raised $100,000 for charity in May of last year, under the hashtag hashtag Global Sussex Baby Shower. The Twitter pro explained that she posts whenever she gets a sudden spark of creativity or notice something from their engagements that is consistent. The online defenders of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess Sussex. Michelle also shared why she puts in so much time and effort into creating Meghan and Harry content. The Huffington Post went on to explain the importance of this online group of supporters that defend Meghan. Meghan, 
has been the frequent target of racist coverage and online abuse by the British tabloid press. But it's not just the media that take it out on Meghan. Twitter users can be especially cruel, perhaps why it's a website which is roundly regarded as a hotbed of hate. While the trolls thrive, Meghan had to stay silent. Meghan couldn't, and didn't, hit back at trolls or tabloids directly as a working member of the royal family, the HuffPo wrote. Which is why it's so significant that she had her her Sussex squad supporters. The Pooh Libgation argued that these online warriors gave the Duchess a voice and defended her in real time. Royal families game faces on as they come face to face with Meghan and Harry in public. The royal family will have their game faces on for the public reunion with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry according to an expert.